how to repair the broken connection with your Opto Statona machine or using the Vantage Pro software with the Optos. So the first thing you want to do is exit the Vantage Pro software on any of the computers that have been using it when the lockup or disconnection has occurred. And then we want to go to the Optos Daytona server. And, on, and when you're on the Optos Daytona server, the first thing we need to do is find an app called services. You can go down to the search bar and you can type in services if you don't know where it's at. You can see here services. We're going to open that up. And we need to turn a few things off that are running in the background um, with Optos. We're going to slide down to where it says Optos. First one, Optos Data Gateway. We're going to turn that off. And on my machine here, there's going to be five that I need to stop the services on for right now. We will turn these back on when we are done repairing the database. So it's the database that is the issue as why you cannot connect or you lost connection with um, your Optos machine or the Vantage Pro software. The next thing we need to do is find the app called Computer Management. I'm going to open the Computer Management. This is just a double check to make sure that all the computers running your Vantage software are disconnected from your database. So under Computer Management, System Tools, Shared Folders, there's something called Sessions. If there's any computers locked or already logged in or still logged in using your database, they would be listed here. You would right click this, hit Disconnect All Sessions, and that's going to disconnect all those computers from your Optos Daytona server. So next thing we're going to do is go to the Window Explorer folder. And we want to find your local C drive. And in there, you will see this folder called Optos Data. Double click it. And Database, double click it. And then you're going to see in here the tools we're going to use to repair your database. So this one called Compact and Repair the Database. We're going to double click this. And we're going to click Compact and Repair the Database. Notice. This is my desktop here, so when it repairs it, it's going to put the repair database on the desktop. Compact and repair. And you should get a pop-up that the database was repaired successfully. You would hit OK. Um, this disregard, this is just my system. That means nothing. I'm going to hit OK to get out of your system. You shouldn't have that. So this is the new repair database. This one here is the old database um, that was corrupted that you can no longer connect to. So we're going to put this in the old database folder. I'm going to rename this. I'm going to put my arrow over to the end and I'm just going to call this um, today's date or somewhere close to today's date. And once it's renamed, I'm going to drag this into the old database folder. I just have a whole bunch of old database. I have to repair my Vantage Pro software database quite often. So back to this folder here, I need to take this repair database and drag it in here to where it should be. You see how it, um, when it's repaired, it got named this weird name. So we're going to right click and hit rename, take my cursor to the end here. And I just need it to be the correct name, which is Optos Imaging. And it should look just like that. Hit enter or return. And that's the correct database name it should be. So it's already re repaired. And we just need to go back to the services and we need to turn all these services back on these five. So let's start. And then when these are turned on, your Optos machine will be able to reconnect to your database again. And if by chance any of your machines were running the Vantage Pro software, you need to go back and exit the software and log back into the software um, to reconnect to your database. And Everything's fixed and you should be able to log in now um, with your Vantage Pro software or your Optos um, machine. And that is how to repair or fix a lost connection with the Optos Daytona and Vantage Pro software.